first open your web browser and search for Linux Mint download the Linux Mint ISO from the official website download the cinnamon edition After downloading Linux Mint ISO file, go to another tab and search for Rufus. We need Rufus to make a bootable USB of Linux Mint. After you have downloaded both files, close your web browser and then insert your pen drive which is at least of 8 GB and please make sure to back up your pen drive data first. Now after that, Go to your downloads folder and open Rufus. Now select the Linux Mint ISO file which we just downloaded earlier. And for the partition scheme, open Windows search and search for system information. And if you see your BIOS mode as UEFI, then you need to choose GPT, otherwise select MBR. And then click on start. This process is going to take a while so I am going to fast forward this part. So once the bootable USB of Linux Mint is ready, close everything and then right click on your start menu and open disk management. Now right click on your local disk C and shrink at least of 20 GB of free space for Linux Mint. Now after that close everything and then it's time to restart and boot into the Linux Mint pen drive. So while your computer is booting up press F12 key or escape key to open the boot selection menu and then choose the option which says USB. Now once you have booted into the live environment of Linux Mint, make sure to connect to the internet first and then check everything. Now once you are sure that everything is working properly, then you can open the Linux Mint installer. Now select your language and your keyboard layout. Don't choose to configure secure boot.
now this is the most important step you need to choose something else and once you are in this page make sure that your correct drive is selected if you have multiple drives and then you need to find the free space which we just created from windows as you can see this is my 40 gb free space now select that free space and then click on the plus icon at the bottom right bottom left now set the moon point as for slash which is the root partition and then click on ok now for the bootloader installation you can see this drop down at the bottom now if you have a UEFI system as shown in the system information earlier then you need to choose the option which says windows boot manager and if you have a legacy system and you choose MBR in Rufus then you need to select the option just above the windows boot manager which is the head of that drive Now after that fill in your information like your time zone and then your user information now this installation may take a while so I'm going to fast forward this part So finally the installation is completed. Now you can reboot and while your your computer is rebooting you will get the scrub menu every time. So first I'm going to choose Linux Mint to check if it is installed properly or not. so as you can see Linux Mint is working properly now let's reboot and try to see if our Windows is working or not So as you can see our windows installation is also just fine. So that's it for the video guys. Thank you for watching.